Number four, we're still working on checking to see if the given number is a zero of the polynomial. So we're going to find p of radical 3 by plugging in radical 3 in for x. Radical 3 to the fourth power is 3 squared because radical 3 to the second power is 3 and we're squaring that so that's 3 squared which is 9 minus 2 times radical 3 squared is 3 so that's 2 times 3 minus 3 so that's 9 minus 6 minus 3 which is equal to 0 so radical 3 is a 0 of the polynomial let's find p of i it's i to the fourth minus 2i squared minus 3 remember i to the fourth is 1 I'm looking at this and i squared is negative 1 so that's 1 minus 2 times negative 1 which is plus 2 minus 3 this is also equal to 0 so i is a 0 as well let's graph this press y equals let's just delete what we had there x to the fourth power minus 2x squared minus 3 press graph and we, this is an x to the fourth function so it's going to go up on both ends similar to x squared it has two real zeros as you can see and one of them is negative radical 3 it seems like and the other one is positive radical 3 so let, let's press trace and put in radical 3 for x the y value is 0 we don't have to find the other one but let's just check since this is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis negative radical 3 will be one of the zeros our other zero as you can see and i is one of the imaginary zeros we can check that by either just plugging in storing i for x as we did in the past or just typing second dot that's i i to the fourth power minus 2i squared minus 3 and that should give us 0 and it does